again. Hello, Matilius258 here. And he has bad news? I don't know. Um, bad news for me. I have, as of now, and this video, officially ended Alien Isolation as a video series. And there are several reasons as to why. One, because I play video games to have fun. I make videos of them because I enjoy doing it. If I no longer enjoy doing it and it becomes more of a job, I'm doing something wrong and I should stop playing. On the other hand, there's also the fact that the last series of videos did not have any voiceover due to a very silly and rather stupid hardware glitch where the audio jack for my microphone just didn't plug in all the way. Hmm, lovely, ain't it? Um, yeah, so I thought, you know what, it's fine. I'll do my next videos and I'll have voice, so it won't matter. It's just kind of a small hiccup. After all, I do these video things in like chunks, so it's like one playthrough for like three hours of six videos, and that's it, and I don't stop for three hours, so, but, um, I did that again. It took two hours. Um, I had three videos up, um, but uh, or I was going to, but there was a problem. One, I got voice, I did get sound, and I did get video. Except the sound was too loud, the voice was slightly too quiet, and it was about this loud. And there was the video quality as well, which dropped for some reason, which I think I have fixed now, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, it, those videos look like they were filmed from an iPhone. It's just bad, that's, that's all I can say, that's what they look like. Um, so yeah, I'm stopping it for those kinds of reasons, plus it's a fun game, and for me to be just raging at that, I don't want to continue with it. So, I want to enjoy the game, basically. Now that that's out of the way, um, usually what I want to do if I do a game that has a story or something, I want to review the game and say what I like, what I don't like. So, for the rest of the video from this point on, it's literally going to be, be me reviewing what I like and what I don't like about the game. Okay, review time. Um, pros. It has an amazing setting. All the details have been faithfully reproduced from the movie, the first movie, by the way, by Ridley Scott. It all just looks beautiful. It has that wonderful vibe. Um, and it complements the atmosphere beautifully, which another pro is the atmosphere itself, which is terrifyingly well done. So the tension is always there. Having headphones to do this all in, especially when it's dark in my room. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the story, while it isn't, say, the most... Okay, I'm going to stop that statement. It is a very good story. I quite like the story. Um, a few times kind of just predictable, sort of. Like, when you know there's going to be a jump scare, it's kind of just... Oh. But... On the other hand, it does tie in, and it's much, 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 much better than, you know, the official movies, their story. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Cons. Um, this one's pretty easy. One, the game does get frustrating. I'm playing on normal difficulty in these videos, and... The whole sneaky kind of thing, don't look at them, but do look at them kind of stealth technique. It's not something I play often. In fact, this is the first kind of game that I've actually played where I needed to do this. Um, not something I enjoy that much, and at times it worked pre uh, at, sometimes it worked beautifully and it was well done and executed perfectly, and I didn't mind it at all. 
Other times, it was a frustrating mess, which just infuriated me from playing the game. Which, if anybody who has been following this daily, daily, monthly, it's been taking me, it's almost been a full year since I started playing this game, and I haven't finished it. Mainly because it frustrated me, so I didn't want to go back, and life. Life is usually a pretty good excuse. Um, so yeah. So, pros, looks great, plays great, story, pretty good, cons, frustrating, it's terrifying, which I'm not a guy for horror, so that's personal. Um, so yeah, good game. I like it. I would definitely recommend it for anybody to play. It is definitely worthy of the Alien franchise. Um, so before I end this video, I need to make a little bit of a shout out. Um, the logo that I have been using for the thumbnail of each video is in fact a deviant art poster done by an artist named Edward J. Moran. He does minimalist movie wallpapers, wallpapers, uh, posters. Um, they're all really good. They're amazing. Go check them out. There should be a link in the description to his deviant art channel. I don't know him from anything else except for deviant art. So, yeah, uh, really good. Check them out. And that's about it. Sorry for anybody who is actually following this, but I will be keeping the old videos up. I guess, because I can. So, yeah. Kind of unfortunate, ending my first series on such a note, but hey, what can you do? My name is Matilius258. This is the end of Alien Isolation, and it is not going to be continued with a question mark. Have a nice day. The following program, as of this moment, has been cancelled.